Good evening, 007. Is that to be my prison number? Come, Mr. Bond. Let's not waste time on infant games of hide and seek. If you want to know how I found out, I made two telephone calls. If you want to know why I found out, you may blame your childishly spectacular exit from my house at Reculver yesterday evening and your even more childish entry into these grounds here tonight. That Aston Martin, that's a cue car. Or rather it was. We've dismembered it. Well, now, we must dismember you, mustn't we? Oh, you're looking, Mr. Bond, at an industrial laser beam which emits a new and extraordinary light not to be found in nature. Natural light, you see, being multicolored, widens and weakens as it's traveling from the source. Laser light, being of one color, never widens, never weakens. It can project a 12-foot diameter spot on the moon, and at closer range, it can even punch holes in a bar of steel. Watch, I'll show you. Porcelain, of course, is an insulator. Yeah. What a boon to the metal business, hmm? Now we must see what sort of metal you are made of. Look, Goldfinger. Be silly to waste your breath when the next one might be the last. You don't expect me to talk, do you? Oh, dear me, Mr. Bond, no. I expect you to die. There's nothing valuable you could tell me that I don't know already. Obviously, N got wind of one of my minor enterprises. And I don't want to be distracted by fools while I'm on the eve of a major one. Come now, no more chit-chat. One. Very friendly and interest me about the laser. Action. Good evening, 007. Is that to be my prison number? Come now, Mr. Bond. Let's not waste time on infant games of hide and seek. You want to know how I found out? I made two telephone calls. If you want to know why I found out, you can blame your childishly spectacular exit from my house at Reculver yesterday evening and your even more childish entry into my grounds here tonight. <laughs> mm -hmm. That Aston Martin, that's a cue car. Or rather, it was. We've dismembered it. Oh, no. We must dismember you, mustn't we? Oh, you're looking, Mr. Bond, at an industrial laser beam which emits a new and extraordinary light, not to be found in nature. Natural light, you see, being multicolored, widens and weakens as it travels from the source. Laser light, being of one color, never widens, never weakens. It can project a 12-foot diameter spot on the moon, and at closer range, it can even punch holes in a block of steel. I'll show you. Porcelain, of course, is an insulator. There. <laughs> what a boon to the metal industry. Hmm? Now we must see what sort of metal you're made of. Now look, Goldfinger. Be silly to waste your breath. And the next one might be your last. You don't expect me to talk, do you? Dear me, no, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. No, there's nothing valuable you can talk to me about that I wouldn't know already. Obviously, M got wind of one of my minor projects. And I don't want to be disturbed by idiots while I'm on the eve of a major one. Come now. No more chit-chat.